Welcome back to Grey Wolf TV and we are back to our music reactions. It has been quite some time. It's been a few months. I know it has guys and you've been probably missing me um, react to any music lately. I've had such a busy schedule that I kind of put them on hiatus for a little time being because I didn't want to commit to taking on too much work and the quality slip. So I'm sure you understand that. But we are back with one today and it is... The, the, the favoured person on this channel of mine is another one from Diana and Kudnova. Uh, it's not one I've heard before. It was released a few months ago. And I've tried to look up just a little bit about the history of what it is she's going to be singing. Because I find she's not afraid to take on stuff that most artists, most singers or entertainers would stay clear well of because especially at her age i mean she's still only what 17 here and some of the stuff that she's performed that i've, that I've listened to her perform so far is so surreal at times because it's like listening to her a grown woman with decades of experience and emotion and raw feeling that she can put into stuff so i'm expecting more of the same i i don't know until we experience it it looks like it's one of these small live venue performances that she does i like that she does this i would absolutely love to be able to be one of the people in the audience at one of these small venues at some point in the future. I know that's probably never going to happen, but I am very jealous of those that can attend and you can get to see her perform live like this. So, it is one of Vladimir Vysotsky's um, songs. I've tried to look up just a little bit about him. I don't know too much. I am I'm not one for researching in depth. I feel like I, I need some sort of... Uh, background a little just so i know what i'm listening to what i'm dealing with but it's about horse it's it's about horses representing like the the speed of life and it's about a guy who is literally driving horses like close to a cliff near like an abyss and he's wanting them to not gallop quite so harshly and quite you know, wants them to go a little slower because he feels the end of life is nearing and it's before his time. It sounds a very philosophical, emotional, distressing and distraught kind of song. I mean, I know this guy was an actor. He was a poet. He was an artist. He uh, wrote a lot of songs. I know a lot of the stuff that he did was at the height of Soviet Russia and it didn't go down very well. I think a lot of his stuff got banned at the time. Just the way it is. So anyway, I wanna go and experience it. So let's listen to this. It is called, now I've tried to look up the proper translation for this and numerous ones come up. I've even looked on YouTube for what other people have called this. There's finicky horses, there's fastidious horses, there's capricious horses, I don't know which is the correct one, so I've gone with fastidious for now. So, let's experience Diana and Kudnova and fastidious horses in a live venue. Let's go. Также очень часто мне пишут о том, что люди хотели бы услышать в моем репертуаре, в моем исполнении песню Высоцкого, хотя бы одну какую-нибудь. Так вот, я разучила песню "Кони привередливые" Высоцкого. Поэтому сейчас состоится первый раз вообще, когда я пою ее в микрофон. <laughs> Кони привередливые. I've got the subtitles on. I don't know how accurate they're going to be, but it's better than nothing. То ли отрыва, то над пропастью, по самому по краю. Я коней своих ногайкою. Стигаю, погоняю. Что-то воздуху мне мало. Ветер пью, туман глотаю. Чую с гибельным восторгом. 
Пропадаю, пропадаю чуть помедленнее кони, чуть помедленнее в эту гую. Не слушайте. Look at the emotion on my face. Плеть. Но что-то кони мне попались. Привередливые И дожить Не успеть Не допеть Не успеть Я Коней напою oh, that's beautiful. Я куплет допою Хоть немного Еще She just doesn't just sing this song. If you watch her closely, she's an actor at the same time. Ураган сметет ладони, и в санях меня галопом повлекут. По снегу утром вы на шаг не торопливы. Ой, перейдите, мои кони, хоть немного, но продлите путь к последнему приюту. Чуть помедленнее, кони. Holy shit. Чуть помедленнее в эту гую. Не слушайте плеть, но что-то кони мне попались. Ой, да привередливые! О, oh мой Бог! И дожить, не успеть, this. не допеть, не успеть. Я коней напою. All right, I'm just going to pause it there. We are around about just over halfway through of this. First of all, I have got goosebumps all the way down me, down both arms and down my legs. She doesn't just, I've said this many times, she doesn't just sing a song. She doesn't even just perform a song. She lives the entire experience, the entire story of it. And especially on such a, from what I've seen so far, a very difficult song to sing and subject matter. She is incredible. There is no one like this girl. Just no one. She doesn't cop anybody. She doesn't try to be anyone else. She doesn't try to be something that she's not. She's completely unique. There is no one else like her. And that is why I think she is one of the best artists of our time. Honestly, I'm, I'm not just saying it. I'm not saying this to get views. I'm not saying it to appease people. This is my opinion. And you know when there's something I feel is subpar or it's an artist who I think isn't giving their all, I'll tell you so. I've got a lump in my throat already just listening to this. Let's just carry on. Мы успели. В гости к Богу не бывает опозданий. Так что ж там ангелы поют такими злыми голосами? И это колокольчик. 
мълчи. Виждаш ли се от редани? Или я кричу коня, щоб ни не сли так быстро сани, чуть помедленнее кони. В эту гую не слушать плеть. Ну что на кони мне попались? Ой, да привередливые! Listen now, my motion. И дожить не успеть мне допеть не успеть я коней напою. Я куплет допою Софт джаз Хоть немного Еще Да постой Майка На краю She's crying Yeah, tell me about it. That is what you call a performance. That one got me. <clears throat> that one really got me. Честно сказать, и педагог, и вообще, в принципе, мое окружение все говорило, что я не справлюсь, и что я еще не доросла до этой песни. Возможно, и многие из вас так подумали, но я надеюсь, что моя интерпретация все-таки oh, yes. хорошо дошла до вас, и я смогла исполнить эту, на самом деле, очень сложную для меня композицию. О, oh, мой It had to happen at some point, didn't it? I don't know how many of Diana's songs I've listened to now. That was extremely emotional. I had shivers. I had a lump in my throat. I've still got, I'm sure you can hear it. <clears throat> and that brought a tear to my eye. And it brought a tear to her eye. She was crying at the end. And what she said at the end there that people thought she wouldn't be able to perform this song and that she wouldn't succeed who are these people and let me put them up against the wall and let them face a firing squad because that is ridiculous no I don't mean um, the things this girl has gone through I've, I've looked into some not all I've looked into some of her um past and what happened to her as she was growing up and although that is horrific and terrible and soul destroying and heartbreaking all of that is inside this girl and she just oozes intenseness emotion feeling storytelling acting i feel like she's in effect she's carrying like her past and like a burden herself but she's turned it into a positive thing and she portrays that when she goes on stage and she puts that microphone in front of her and that was just i think that's the most incredible performance i've ever watched of her I'm, I'm going to have to go back and watch that several times um, so I can get to the point where I'm not choking up <laughs> at the end. Damn, that was powerful. And her saying at the end that she hopes how she performed this difficult composition was acceptable to all of us. Um, yes, it was. Oh, my God. See, this is why I cover this girl on this channel. I don't know whether you know this, but Diana's 
videos of mine are the most popular videos on this channel. Even now, and I haven't done one for a few months, her, uh, Denia Dance, I think, is approaching like 1 million views on my channel. Whenever I, I react to this girl, I've got a big smile on my face, except this time because she made me cry. <laughs> um, and I'm going to continue to do so. I know there's been a few I've missed out because I haven't done any reactions for, for a few months. I'm going to start going through back through some of the ones that I've missed over the last few months. So do not fear. I, I will get to them. I thought I'd come back with this one. And oh my God, that's blown me away. That has absolutely blown me away. She has the maturity and emotion of a 45, 50 year old woman. I mean, she looks like a grown woman already there now. And she's like 17. This girl should be a global superstar. And I don't know whether she'll ever make it that far, but she damn well should do. And I would love to see her perform live. I, I, I would be like a kid in a sweet shop. I would have such a big smile on my face. So, Deanna, Deanna, if you ever watch one of my videos, please invite me over to Russia. I will come. <laughs> that was incredible, guys. Honestly. Um, if you're here and you're watching this video, you clearly are a fan of hers. And you probably agree with everything that I've said. By all means, put all your comments down below. Give me more background on, on the story. I knew a little about the song and the original writer of the song, Vladimir. So... If you want to expand on that, by all means, do so. And if you're not already subscribed and you like watching music reactions, and in particular, if you are as big a fan of Deanna as I am, by all means, hit that sub if you haven't already. We very much appreciate it. I will be back with another one of hers very soon because I've missed not reacting to her. And I've been talking a good few minutes here and I'm going to have to go and get a drink because that's... That's kind of affected me emotionally. That That is what this girl is capable of doing. And I'm not even in the audience. I would have, I would have been a whimpering mess on the floor <laughs> if I'd have been in that audience. That was just phenomenal. Right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you for another one of hers very soon. Till then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you for the next one.